also very independent here as well. Dandy actually starting off the dragon very early. And this is one of the things we didn't actually hit on. Jungle needs to be pretty good at these early gimmick dragons. Yeah, he's so able to get the reset on your uh, different form, your, your Cougar form abilities. You can do a huge burst of damage. Mana actually able to tank up surprisingly well at level one here, you have to say. And that's a very early dragon, a four minute dragon coming out of Vici Gaming. Yeah, so Vici getting creative, Dandy in no follow there for Vi. Wad's over, but can't chase. And the follow up splash for level four Vi was just completely unexpected, as in the bot lane, Annie falls down. Yeah, it looks like we had some issues there. Acorn actually teleported up there as well by the looks of things to make sure that everything could work out okay. And the first one actually in the bottom lane, Mata gets bloodthirsty. But apart from that first kill for Mata, not much action except Vasilia. Mata gonna start up VG's second dragon now. Yeah, the second dragon is a very early clip here. They will be able to take it down and uncontested again, though Vi is at least interested at this point. I mean, looks like Schwinn might have a look, but it's going to be a little too late. Callista and Nidalee going to secure that very easily for Vichy, and that's two in uh, ten and a half minutes there. That first drag, that second dragon, sorry, got to take it sort of the regular to show himself and just start, just help carry push out the wave. Tren, I think, revealed himself as well, so it makes the scan harder, but he looks like he's still going to initiate. Yeah, wants to go not to carry, but a good bounce there does come through. Flash actually used there as well by nine. Now Dandy going to get altered there by Vi, but that's Cannon very far away. The side of the popping over the top, the W there locks in there. Now the ulti on the carry. The ulti from Cannon as well, and there's the double for Vi. Again, starting to run around a bit more, and the CC, when it works, works very well. Now Vasily actually could be in trouble, going to get punched. Good juke there. Now going to go back in onto Imp, the damage from Vi, pretty immense. Vasily uses the rem, but it's not enough, and a third kill now for Schwen. Imp was confident in dueling there, despite all the ren stacks piling on, but Schwen is so snowballing this game. 300, 650 CS. Maybe the, the terrors of the LGD Vi will go away. Yeah, Whaler's still in trouble. It does go down to Dandy. Actually, didn't even need any more than a bolt from her Tong's ulti. ulti. Now down the bottom, Schwen is going to dunk onto Vasily. So much damage with the collateral. And in for the Infinity Edge, shred through Callista. No, Graves isn't there to compete for this objective. Her Tong is going to come down as well. The third dragon does come down, so they'll take the three dragons, but. Pushing further, pushing aggressively when teamfight is not really an option against this team will just prove difficult. They're going to have to rely on that fifth dragon, you'd have to think. Like specifically from Akon. If he can get the flank engage with the teleport, he's trying it now. Yeah, ulti going to come there as well. That's an amazing ult though by Vasily to save and carry now. Could be in trouble. No, now, but Akon dives in with the ulti. Vasily forced a flash out there as well. And Vici will try and reset. Good poke there as well. And here comes the Zeratol to get a chase. Akon, a good Don is there to save him from the last ball. He throws it in, but it's a little missed time and can't get it. But now, Wayless has killed Silly there for the next one. Now got another kill, but there's a double actually coming through for Lissandra. Maybe looking for a triple. Doesn't get it, but a two for one trade. There's the potential for a huge wall stun coming out of the otherwise fairly poke centric team. Well, LGD here are going to start their first dragon now of the game and take it very, very quickly. So, Mata down. And the initiation is going to come from somewhere. I mean, Mata positioning aggressively as well. Lissandra also going in. Imp, I like the counter push there, but that mid tower is still up. So, Vici, don't feel super threatened by a dragon. Very low there at about a third health. But Schwen's going to dive in. Kalista should be able to get it. Does do so for the fourth. And now Schwen's going to dive in on top of Danny. But POL is so low. Mata almost kills him himself. And now Vasily going to dive in. Carry that. Chucks Wailers into the wall. But Akon's going in the middle. Just destroys Vasily with the help of Imp as well. And now Hatong and Mata have to run very far away. That's going to force a flash out there. Looks like more kills might come through. Dandy actually lived in there as also well, just two for one. But Schwen gonna chase in. Now Nidalee gonna look for the 1v1 here from the jungle and Dandy's like, I don't really fancy this anymore. Does use the chilling smite. Gonna dodge the ball maker beautifully though. And Dandy, ever the duelist, might get away with it. Hatong as well gonna come in for the assist and does get it. Two for two. Yeah, surprisingly even fight there, you have to say. It was scattered and that of course works to Vici's advantage. There was never the layered ultimate that they were really looking for, the LGD. The exit kill, no, does not come down for Very Wailers. nice. That was like Clutch cleanse there from Hatong as well to get out, but Akon snaps him with a shuriken. Still three for three, even again. The grouping comes in against from L from LGD. They don't have the best turret seeds, but they're gonna get it. Yeah, Wayless going in. Great flash, double W, and Akon dives in on the cannon as well. Carry gonna get locked up here. That's a very instant three for zero. Now Schwen gonna dive in there. Vi with the double, and LGD fire back. Yeah, the flashes were down, and that's where the engage finally comes in strong from LGD. Well, gonna be moving in there. Baron under half out now. Dandy has to go in very soon if he wants to go get it. Almost pokes and actually misses. Imp goes over the top to zone him out. Dandy actually might just die for 
from this as well. That should the cure LGD the Baron Dandy in a whole host of trouble as well. He's gonna try and outplay Impy, but Imp just going in aggressively. Two more crits, and that's all he needed. Yeah, former teammates collide, and Imp is the one that comes up big there. But very well here after the fourth there from Beachy. We'll take their second now. You know, the second dragon's fine, it's not uh, the be all end all. It's not that exciting, but most exciting. Oh, Zareth gonna go and doesn't steal it though. Good smite there from Schwen and a great attempt from Hatong, but can do it. Oh, LGD very far in control now of this game. 10,000 gold ahead and knocking down Tarot here. Baramorph has a one-off, but they don't really need it. And, I mean, the is gonna come in. That's good demo. Actually, a great flash out there. And Aegon defensively ulties there as well. But Wave is going straight in. Aegon over the top as well. Massive damage there in the back. And now Schwen gonna try and off Hatong. Carry's gonna go down there as well. 3-0 already. Schwen does fall, but Dandy almost down there as well. Imp going very aggressive under the turret. Can't quite get the smoke screen onto her tongue, but PYL might look as well. I mean, Vichy will defend for now. The ulti coming through as well. Akon has to be careful. Wailer stodges the bolt. He should be fine here as well. And a very strong fight there. 3-1 in favor of Vichy. Now they break the base. There was a massive Nar coming out from Carry, but it just didn't mean anything because there's no one in this team comp that can capitalize on that. It's, it's a very scattered engage, but the fight's actually on and Yeah, Wayless in trouble. Who was the man in that replay? Was doing so much work in that dive, and Vichy with the pick might actually be able to get an objective, but not many up on the map, unfortunately. Starting to aggress onto Baron, but it's risky. It is risky, but they can take it quite quickly here, especially with the Baron being a little weaker than old PWL. Here to throw it to multi and Akon trying to set up a good ulti there for PWL to go in. Now Zeta Blake gonna launch him in and Akon gonna go through. Imp gets an easy kill there on Tamata. Dandy hops over the wall and maybe looking to go back in, but Akon's doing so much damage to Vasily. Hopping around but can't fight him and Dandy going back in, tries to get the Baron, can't do it. Triple kill for Imp and 4-1 LGD. And that's the risk right there. Once the AoE magic resist shred comes in, you need much more bonus damage when you have already the AoE Wombo available. It didn't even matter that the Sandra wasn't there, and Akon's trying to backdoor this Nexus. Yeah, I mean, early teleport, he's doing a lot of damage already. Nar could be in a bit of trouble, who actually Akon's gonna go aggressive on top of him. We'll get the kill there, and LGD have all the time in the world there. Nexus, Akon can just kind of hit it with his forehead if he wanted to, but it's going down. They're letting Imp get in the picture right here. Massive game from him, 9-0-7. He had the answer to the Callista that he struggled to play effectively last week. The Graves did mon monstrous work there for LGD.